Hi, YouTube friends. It's me, Tina, Tina the Triceratops. And today, Dot Dot Toys and I are going to be teaching you about me, the Triceratops. You'll hear from me, Tina, and I'll also have Dot Dot sometimes put up pictures of me as well. And I'm going to teach you 10 really neat facts today all about the Triceratops. I bet some of these facts you have no idea about. Some of them are really neat, and you're going to find it really, really cool. So keep watching and learn all about me, Tina the Triceratops. The first fact is, did you know that the name Triceratops means three-horned face? Triceratops is widely known for our large head with three horns. And although the word Triceratops means three-horned face, Triceratops actually only had two proper horns. The third horn was made out of soft proteins and really wasn't a real horn. In fact, Scientists aren't really sure what the purpose of this fake horn was. Currently, there are two theories. They suggest what the horns of the Triceratops were used for. One theory says that my horns were used to defend myself in combat situations against other dinosaurs, like the T-Rex which is known to have been the mortal enemy of Triceratops, like me. And the second theory suggests that the Triceratops horn served very little purpose in combat and was instead used during courtship rituals. Fact number two. The large bony plate around Triceratops' neck is called the frill. The Triceratops frill covered my neck and shoulders and was edged with bony knobs. Its main function was to protect my neck and my shoulders during an attack. However, scientists think it may have had other uses too. The area beneath the skin of my frill was heavily vascularized. That means it was covered with blood vessels, which means that Triceratops could have flushed it with blood, making it change its color in the same way humans do when they blush. Scientists also speculate that the frill could have been used for communication too. Perhaps showing the Triceratops level of aggression, dominance, or other social expressions. Here's fact number three. Triceratops could weigh anywhere between 6 to 12 tons. That's about the weight of a modern diesel truck that you see on the highway. Here's fact number four. Triceratops measured over 10 feet in height from their feet to the top of our backs. That's as tall as a first story building or as tall from the floor to the rim of an NBA regulation basketball rim. Fact number five. Here's an interesting fact about Triceratops. Did you know that almost one third of the length of Triceratops was just its skull? A typical Triceratops was approximately 26 feet long, or 8 meters. And my skull was approximately 7 feet long, or 2.3 meters in length. That's pretty big. Number six. One of the lesser known facts about Triceratops and dinosaurs like me is that we had hard, 
bird-like beaks, and we could rip off hundreds of pounds of tough vegetation every day so that we could eat. Here's fact number seven. Triceratops have approximately 400 to 800 teeth during the course of our lifetime. However, we didn't use all of these teeth at once. It was constantly replacing them throughout our entire lifetime as they wore out. Here's fact number eight. Triceratops like me were herbivores, meaning we only ate plants. We didn't eat animals or other dinosaurs. We didn't eat meat at all. We probably ate many different varieties of plants and may have used our large bulk and strength to knock down trees in order to get at leaves like current day elephants do. Fact number nine. It is believed that Triceratops, like me, lived during a portion of the Cretaceous period around 70 million years ago. Wow, that's a long time ago. And fact number 10. Along with other fellow plant eaters and herbivores, the Triceratops like me were doomed by the loss of our accustomed food, vegetation, as the clouds of dust circled the globe because of the KT extinction catastrophe which blotted out the sun. All the vegetation started to die which means all of the plants and trees started to disappear and herbivores like Triceratops and others started to die due to lack of food. Today, millions of years later, people just like you and me work every day to learn more and more about dinosaurs. Scientists that study dinosaurs are called paleontologists. And today, you were just like a paleontologist, learning and discovering interesting facts that made you learn more about the Triceratops. So we hope you enjoyed watching this video and learning all about me, the Triceratops. And if you like this video, I have a five second challenge for you. I want you to click that subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed and hit that bell notification to find out when we post new videos. Ready? Let's do it in five seconds. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. Thanks so much. And don't forget to smash that thumbs up button too if you learned something new today. Thanks so much for watching and check out this video and learn something new with us again. See you next time. Bye-bye.